All right. Hi, and welcome back. Um, a few people have requested how I actually um, put the sealant on. So I'm going to show you how I do that. Um, here, I already have one framed, and I usually do this. I usually seal them before I frame them for the simple fact that I don't want it on the frame. But originally, I framed these. I, well, I sealed these with the spray Mod Podge right here. Um, there's a gloss and a high high shine, um, and then I went and framed them. But I don't use this anymore for the simple fact that it is harmful. The vapor is harmful, Whoop. and I was using it on the inside, and I was getting very bad headaches from it. So if you do use this, um, use it outside in a very ventilated area um, and you have to use five plus coats for it to actually like seal your painting because I was only using two and I had drills pop off months later so yeah make sure you use a lot of coats outside um, I used it I used this because it was simple and easy I was like hey you know it'd be easy way to See my diamond paintings. Um, come to find out, not really. So I switched a few times. Um, I ended up doing the Elmer's glue, the washable clear glue, because it was non-toxic. And I added a little bit of this after I applied it, the diamond dust. And we have a finished product of, let's see. This is like the finished pro product. So it has the shine, it's pretty, it's beautiful. Um, but then I found out that the Elmer's glue yellows over time and crumbles. So I'm like, oh, well, I don't want to sell my diamond paintings and then people get them and years later now the glue's coming off. So then I found out about Maj Podge, which I've used before on art crafts and projects I've done before and I know it does not yellow, it does not uh, crumble over time, it stays. So now I use this Maj Podge gloss and then the Extreme Glitter. There is so much glitter in there. So I take like two spoonfuls of it. Two spoonfuls. Put it in my little bowl. Excuse my dogs. They jump at everything they hear. And I add it to like six, seven spoonfuls of the gloss. I also have the sparkle. The sparkle is, um, this has a little bit less glitter. So, that's how, and I mix it up. Stir, stir, stir. And now I am ready to apply it to my painting. Ooh. So I take this foam brush here. Pretty fancy. And I dip it in here. some on there. I'm actually going to scoot this over so then it's closer to my painting. And I am going to take it drip, drip, drip. and here I go. So you can start from wherever. I do the whole painting so I'm trying to look at this and look at my camera at the same time. It's a wee bit hard and it's going to get on the frame but it dries clear so no worries about that kind of do this and try to hold on my painting at the same time with my elbow so but I want to show you guys how I do it over the drills and since this is like a partial painting I'll just start right here so when I'm doing it on the drills I'm trying to get as close as possible I'm going to paint over them and you see like right in between these areas you can just dab in there with your brush so then 
the glue gets in between those drills so then you get a really good seal and then just kind of brush it on I would just honest look out for like bubbles and stuff like that because those bubbles are going to dry on there so um, if you see bubbles brush over them before you set it out to dry and then you don't have bubbles all over um, but yeah then I'll get some more glue bring it over brush it on Oop, there we go there's the camera so brush it on to the painting and make sure it gets in there dab it watch for bubbles and just go over it like so and you do the whole painting like this see there's some spaces right there and you just want to dab with your brush and then brush over it I tell you guys it's hard to kind of do this if looking through your camera <laughs> but I'm doing it look at me go and then after you get the whole painting done and I get do I need little hairs on mine or pieces of cardboard from my backing and I kind of use my tweezers which are over whoop so I use my tweezers where are they there they are they're very pointy I use those and I pick off the tiny little hairs from my find let's see like right there there's a hair before this dries let's kind of pick it up hopefully pick it up there's a shadow, I know, sorry. Makes it hard to see. So I'll pick it up, take it off. And um, I use baby wipes. These are amazing to use for your dying painting. After I'm done, I might get glue on my fingers. Just take a baby wipe, wipe it off my hands. Um, I'll probably use it around this frame right here, take off this extra glue. So then it's not on the frame. But your finished product, like after you get all that done, is going to look like this. Let me show you. Look at that. And this one still needs to be framed. Like I said, I like to... But look at that sparkle on that diamond painting. That is amazing. I love how this turned out. And this is by far my favorite way to seal my diamond paintings. So I will use this from now on. Um, I will also do a video, hopefully soon, of me framing, um, making my own frames for these diamond paintings. How I cut them out, um, the cardboard backing and stuff, how I cut that out and put the canvas onto the cardboard and all that so stay tuned for that and thank you don't forget to subscribe and press the like button please to stay tuned for more videos coming up on diamond paintings and everything related to diamond paintings thanks for watching guys bye